The grandiose idea I want to share with you is this. You should seek to bend reality to your will. Whatever it is that you want, seek to bend reality to your will. Don't wait for it to happen. Don't try and crowdfund that fucking shit. Make it happen or die trying. Samurai resolve. I'm going to make this shit happen or I'm going to fucking cut myself open afterwards. <laughs> this is the correct modality for getting things done. Grandiosity and megalomania are not always bad things. If you want to get something done in the world, that should be your attitude. Any of you guys ever watch C.T. Fletcher, the bodybuilder dude? You should watch him. When he trains, he's like, he talks, he's, he's nuts. He trains his biceps. He goes, grow, grow, you are my slave. I'm like, damn, they're going to kick me out of the fucking gym. But that's his mindset. You will obey me. And he lit, with that voice and that intensity, he's like, you are my flesh. I own you. You will grow. And I'm like, well, if we all had a little bit more of that and a little bit more of fucking balance balls and cables and men's health workouts, we'd probably all be looking a little bit more jacked. You kind of have to be crazy to do it. Seek to bend reality to your will. What you've learned here, I've told you, it's not good to be toxically passive. And it's actually not going to help you unless you fucking make sure it is. You liked what a speaker said. You liked a concept. You wrote your notes. Put it into your lives. Make it work. It doesn't work. It doesn't. None of it works. You fucking make it work. Another uh, from the strength training world. Um, there was a, there's a guy online called Jason Ferrugia, who's a strength coach, and people are hammering him for programs. How do I get my squat better? How do I do this? How do I do that? And then I think well, he must have just had a bad night, and he wrote this blog post, and he goes, first of all, I don't give a fuck, and nobody does, if you get stronger or you don't. That's your responsibility. Second of all, pick any program at random and follow it. They all work. Stop with the dogma. The only thing that you're doing is progressive overload over time. You know, change the rep range, change the speed. So it doesn't matter. Do something, but do something and have the intent. I will make this work or I will die trying and you'll get better results in your life. You won't be as half hearted. You won't be as shy. You won't be as nervous. Sometimes you've got to go all in and this, the passive yin training, the propaganda, the brainwashing is saying, don't do that. It's dangerous. Just be, just be nice. Okay. Just negotiate. Just crowdfund it. I don't know, like create a hashtag on social media. Maybe it'll all work out because that's how fucking billionaires are built. Get the fuck out of here. The nutters. Elon Musk, nuts. Uh, Anthony likes Steve Jobs, fucking nuts. That's not a psychological term, by the way. <laughs> can, we cl can we cut that from the YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> um, these guys are crazy and they have a lot of intent. In the end, it comes down to your intent. I was talking before about doing the dancing. I wasn't joking about that. I recommend that I don't do the how to get goals stuff, but if you learn how to dance and you get good, that won't be an issue in your lives. How to get, how to die. <laughs> Why? Steve was saying the other day about what he tries to get from women. It was think, react, blush, smile, laugh, laugh. dance. Get hold of a goal and you know what you're doing, you can, you, can, um, you can tell jokes with your body. You can tell, it's, it's crazy. It takes, it takes time. You've got to give it like two years or so before you get to that level, but you will never be online. How do I get goals? Learn how to fucking dance. Go to these dances. Bachata is a great one. It's, it's upbeat, it's cheerful. The lyrics are all about love, it's passionate, and it's fun. And it tends to make people laugh and smile and react. I advise it. But when I am sharing with other people how to be a good dancer, because technically I don't know that much stuff, they'll be like, why do the girls always want to dance with you? And I'll say, because I'm not trying to do anything other than get them to, I always be like, I wanted to smile and I wanted to laugh. The think, react and blush, it's perfect. My intent is all that counts. When it comes to the martial arts, it's your intent that counts. If you're going to defend yourself, it's your fucking intent that counts. What did the samurai do? Yeah, they learned some techniques, they learned different weapons, but they meditated every day like fucking robot lunatic machines to build a strong intent. You know, the Wim Hof method, dousing yourself in cold water and all of that shit, the samurai were doing it for centuries. 
They were doing it for centuries to build an iron will. There was a cult of building iron will that's more than 100 years old now, and people don't talk about it because it's not bon ton, it's not of the now. But if you want to get anything done in your lives, you'll be well advised to focus on building your intent and building your will. And if you want something to happen, fucking make it happen. I'm going to stop there and I'm going to take some questions. Thank you, gentlemen. Bravo. Bravo, bravo. Gulag for all of you. <laughs>